Hi everyone, Comic Reviewer here, this time reviewing on Spider-Man Chapter 1, Issue Number 7. Now, the cover pretty much has Mysterio mind-screwing Spider-Man, and basically this is meant to be the retelling of Mysterio's first appearance, where he says, Come in, Mr. Jameson, there is no n reason for you to fear me. And so he somehow managed to screw up the room, saying, what? Keep my identity secret, Mr. Jameson. If criminals were to learn who I am, they might attack my friends and my family. For the present, however, you may call me Mysterio. What in blue blazes? How do you do that? My secrets are my secrets, Mr. Jameson. S sacrif to say... You and I have a similar mission. And so he gives him this kind of note not to open in two days. And as Jameson's about to open it, he's like, Do not disobey me, Mr. Jameson. Huh? Believe me, you will be sorry if you do, and very happy if you don't. And so we see that the whole battle with Electro, where Johnny Storm eventually gets out of the webbing, and flames on again, where Electro tries to fry Spider-Man, and Spider-Man goes into a closet, where Electro thinks he's managed to beat him, but he's like, not quite, Chuckles. I knew that was a main entrance closet. Wait, how were you able to know? You just jumped right in there. And so he manages to point out that he got some rubber gloves and boots, but none to protect him from his body. So this he's about to beat Rexolo, the other goons manage to beat him up, but but Human Torch shows up just in time. And Spider-Man goes after Electro. And just then Spider-Man uses a giant hose and fries that Electro. And he says, huh, if this was a TV show right about now, I'd be saying, ha ha. I so knew it was you, him all along, but I've never seen this clown before. Spider-Man pretty much leaves afterwards, and Jameson's like, Incredible! Amazing! These pictures are the scoop of the year! And so we pretty much leave, and we see Betty Brant hitting on Peter, and we never see them really properly introduced, yeah, this was the thing that the writer from Spider-Man Chapter 1 should have done. Took some time on building Betty Brant and Peter up. And so, Robbie Robinson shows up, saying that he came back from a two-day week vacation. And this is what he finds. And he's like, It's not drivel, Robinson. This time I have proof. Spider-Man has finally shown his true colours. And so we see all of the school kids getting angry and stuff. And Peter pretty much leaves in a half. Where he sees Aunt May saying, Peter dear, you look so pale. Are you worrying again? Because our savings it count is almost empty. Yeah, put a bit more of a burden on him, Aunt May. And so Peter looks up on the ceiling. And gets a report about... Saying that confirms that Spider-Man struck again in the early house. And much like the episode, much like the comic, where Spider-Man suggests that he may have developed a new personality, he goes in and sees that sees that Jameson has posted the thing about Mysterio. And Robinson voices concern against this, but he's like, Why should I, Robbie? You didn't meet Mysterio, I did. And I say, this anyone with this amazing power would probably have no problem seeing into the future. And so we see Spider-Man saying, uh, It had to be the bridge, didn't it? All my life there's been something about the Brooklyn Bridge, a weird feeling like someone has stepped on my grave whether I cross it. Yeah, this kind of foreshadows Gwen Stacy's death in The Amazing Spider-Man. And so we see Mysterio there, here, but finds out that he can that he's pretty much a tricky villain. 
and can create illusions. And so, pretty much leaves in a big pink ball of gas, and he's like, Aah! So, Spider-Man manages to ride on just in time, and Peter sees that Mysterio is in the building. He's like, Good day, Mr. Jameson. Ah, there you are. Parker, get over here. And so, he introduces Mysterio to Peter, and Peter to Mysterio. So we're introduced to the set where a movie's being made. And Peter goes into the closet of Quinn and Beck and sees all of the costumes that were designed and everything else. And sees the Mysterio costume saying, Well done, Spider-Man. You found me. Now all you have to do is survive. And so we got Peter in a kind of weird out dimension like world. So... Yeah, this was issue 7. So, what do I think? It's not as great, but I think they could have done more time in building Betty Brand and Peter up, and they didn't really need to foreshadow the whole bridge scene just yet. So it deserves a thumbs up. It's not bad, but there is some good sides, so comic reviewer here, signing out.